Hey everyone, it's Fred here from Helios Brick. It is Friday night and welcome to this vlog. We've just actually been to the Lego store in Brighton for Black Friday. I'm ready for the football match to get started in a minute. And uh, yes, here's some footage of today's visit in the Brighton Lego store.
so there were lots of interesting deals in the Brighton Lego store now compared to uh, what we saw on the Lego online website the night before. There were a few additional sets that were discounted in store. First of all, we had the 501st Legion Clone Troopers. Now, that's sold out online, so these were available in store in Brighton. But I did speak to the store manager and he said, yeah, we're going to limit those to just one to um, make sure there's no scalpers coming around and clearing the whole thing up, which is fair enough. And then they also had the Chinese New Year sets, both of them on sale. So they had uh, the, the, the the Lunar Traditions, I forgot what it's called actually, the, the smaller one of the two was um, about £42, I believe, and the Ice Festival uh, was £63. So still a, a nice discount. And they had pretty much all the sets that were on sale uh, elsewhere on the LEGO website in-store as well. Now, obviously the big uh, piece is the, the the Eiffel Tower. It's a beautiful set, isn't it? And uh, they had two boxes in-store. And uh, I've also noticed that online it hasn't uh, sold out. And I did see some... Uh, Pictures on some Facebook groups, and I think it must must have been in America or something. But yeah, some stores did sell out all their Eiffel Towers. So uh, people clearly have a lot of money to spend still on Lego. But what did we actually buy today in the Lego store? So um, let's start with some pick a brick cups. So I got three cups. So that's not filled very well. But I've got one cup with two by six white tiles. Those were new on the wall. And then I also cleared out um, the corner plates in light bluish grey. Not seen those before, but now that bin is empty. So uh, sorry guys, but it uh, seemed like someone already cleared out a lot before me. So I cleared out those ones, which is two cups. So I've got two cups of those to think. Those were parts that sell. And then we just got lots of little sets. Uh, probably some um, maybe to part out, some for investment. But also some with a view of giveaway. So I'm starting to do more and more giveaways on my son's channel. And I also plan on doing um, a Christmas special in terms of giveaway. So, But let's keep going. What else did we get? So this is uh, pretty much all gift with purchase almost that goes in here. So the person who served me in the store was really great. And uh, he always is. Uh, and there's Bear, by the way. And um, he said, oh, you're just a few pounds short, like one pound fifty short to get this giveaway. And I've already got loads of these coming, by the way, anyway. But, you know, for one pound fifty, you say, oh, let's get something else quickly. And then we'll qualify for this gift for purchase. So we got another gift for purchase. We've got also Skiing Santa. I had this from last year. Uh, that's another one out added to the list. Uh, another one of these VIP funky VIP add-on packs. So... That's the one with the, the pigs, I believe. Yeah, that's the one with the pigs. So we've got that. And what else? What did, what did we actually buy? So I got one pack of these um, these troopers. So eight pounds, I believe these were. Very good deal. That was the part that I told the mill. Get something of that to add to get to the, the limit that we needed. But here's the other bag of stuff that we got. So right, let's get started. We've got... Uh, Brickhead's pet chicken uh, budgie. So I've got lots of Brickhead's uh, with a view of uh, giveaways, really. And we've got the puppy, the poodles. So we've got these ones. We've got the koi fish. I believe these are the koi fish. Yeah. Got that. I'm running out of space. We've got the goldfish. Like that. We got. Chinese New Year pandas. We've got bulldogs. So all these will likely be at some point a given away either my channel or a male's channel. Uh, Coyote, Roadrunner. Another one of these. Got one of these because these were on offer as well. Quite like that set. And yeah, we're not like FIFA, huh? We don't censor here. And um, I had to pick one up, even though it's limited to, to one in store um, by the store manager. You know, it's £17 something. I've got quite a few of these already, but this set is retiring. And it's always been quite popular, although I think there's a no new clone trooper pack coming out next year, right? Uh, and then I also got two more packs of these uh, Christmas minifigures. So if you've been watching my son's channel, occasionally we give away some of these. And uh, yeah, keep tuned for that one. But yeah, it was a overall a good uh, visit to the Lego store. Um, 
I did order stuff online as well last night. And, you know, I often talk about cashback deals. Now, this is really why you should sign up for cashbacks because when you, yesterday there was an offer on Quidquo that you just get 50 quid cashback if you spend over a certain limit, all you need to do was opt in. I opted in and my transaction qualified. So I will be getting that cash back on top of the percentage cash back. So sometimes from time to time you get these promotional extra deals, which really make it worthwhile. So if you haven't signed up yet for cash back, go check out the links in the description of this video for top cash back and quick quote, because you often get these sort of deals where you get essentially free money for money that you're going to spend anyway. So it's, it's a no brainer in my opinion, but we did order more Lego that's coming, but we've already received some uh, Lego deliveries over the last week, week and a half. So I didn't do a vlog last week, so we're going to be looking at some uh, Lego deliveries now and parts that we received uh, earlier in this week and uh, yeah, in the last few days as well. We are Sunday evening and I decided to film everything now of the items that have arrived. And... Um, I've got four of these ones and I think it's all going to be the same so I'm not going to open every single one of them but uh, let's uh, have a look I believe these will be the gift with purchases rather than the items that I've ordered from Lego the items that I've ordered from Lego I haven't arrived yet um, I think they'll be coming later in the week or possibly even next week but with every single one of them I expect we're going to be seeing this scenario of Tribute to the Lego house and Christmas elf set. So I think we're gonna have quite a few of those in these boxes and uh, possibly need to put them in the storage unit. So yeah, I'll need to open them later, but I'm not gonna show it all for the video. But I do have multiple boxes in my hallway of these. So uh, we'll sort that in a minute. Something that arrived earlier in the week and I'm not sure if I should open the box because I think the box will be in good condition. This was uh, because of the five times VIP. I redeemed uh, the 80 pounds off and I'm just going to show you the number, but it's the 76405, which is going to be the Harry Potter Hogwarts Express is in here. This is from, from Lego. Uh, I don't think I should have any concerns about the box condition. The outer box is really good, came from Lego. Uh, maybe I'll just open the top and have a peek. So uh, I'm convinced that they won't have sent me the wrong set. This is something that likely my son and I might build on his YouTube channel. It's massive. This one is on display in the Brighton Lego store. That is huge. Oh, I like. I'm just going to show this. I'm not going to get it out of the box, but look at this packaging. It's got these extra cardboard pieces around it at the bottom and the top protect that box. Uh, first time I've seen that, so well done Lego. I think that's really good. Making sure that, you know, fully nicely fits in there uh, to minimize any damage to the box. Yeah, let's not see that before. So, oh, that's that. Um, I've also got a box outside from um, Argos. It's quite big, I'm not going to open it, but there are uh, three uh, passenger trains in there. So those were from 75 pounds deal that they had on, uh, not Argos, Asda. So Georgia Asda, I think it was. I think that was a really good deal, plus cash back. Uh, couldn't resist, uh, but that will be to part out at some point, I think. And that set has been discounted quite a lot of times now on um, Amazon uh, UK to about 79 pounds. So it's definitely a price match. I believe it's to very has it for 79 pounds. So. The Black Friday deals have been coming, so uh, good thing is as well as my orders are doing quite well from a Bricklink perspective. This weekend alone, about six, seven orders, uh, if not more than that. And uh, even stuff is starting to shift on Amazon, so um, people might be interested in this. But uh, I sold a, a Lego uh, Architecture London set now. People who know my channel and who've been following me for a while know that that set, you know, is a, a bugbear of mine. I've bought way too many. And it's a set that's been available since 2016. And sometimes, you know, you've got to take a loss. And it's not all about making maximum profits, about making the right decision. Now. And, and part of it is learning when you make the wrong decisions. Now, I had too many of those. And now I'm just looking to recover some cash so I can reinvest it into something else rather than sitting on it for another 
five years hoping for it to get some sort of ROI. Sometimes you've got to bite the bullet, get your money back and invest into something else that is going to accelerate quicker. So fortunately, uh, fortunately we did list it on uh, Bricklink and uh, I think it was on Bricklink or Brickhow. I can't remember which one. I got a sale. Uh, someone paid £35 for it plus uh, shipping. So uh, thank you to whoever bought that one. So I very much appreciate it. Uh, but then also on Amazon, we uh, sold one of these. Um, 76166 now. I had two of these originally. And um, these were retailing for 79.99, I believe, in the UK. And I sold this on Amazon. Now, at list price on Amazon, it was about £170, I believe it was. There or thereabouts. And I bought this for £54. Now... After fees and shipping costs on Amazon uh, and shipping it myself, because this is not FBA, this is FBM clearly, because I've got it in my hands, got it from my storage unit today. It's uh, I still got £130 net after all the shipping costs that it's going to cost me and uh, all the fees that Amazon have taken. So when I bought this for 54 and I sell it for 130 you know, clearly that's above my 100% ROI mark. So Clearly happy with that. That's a definite winner, unlike the uh, London architecture set. So as I said, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but this one definitely a winner. And I saw that this price of this set was really going up uh, early in the year already. I think this time last year at Christmas, it was already at uh, a quite a high price and the set was retiring. And then I believe on, was it Zavi or one of those had it on, uh, they had some uh, available still at the RRP, so I've got four more in my storage unit, which I haven't listed yet, but I paid full RRP for those ones, but I got cash back, I believe, on those ones. So, yeah, I got full RRP ones, still another four to sell, but maybe just hold on a bit longer, and uh, those ones will get my 100% ROI in the not-too-distant future as well. So, yeah, Lego investing, from my perspective, is definitely starting to work, and uh, if you've been following my journey, I've been buying sets for two years now and I feel like gradually now sets have been retiring prices are starting to go up and I'm seeing in things in uh, on Amazon a lot of my sets are now becoming towards close to the lowest price in terms of my expectations in terms of making my ROI and things are starting to shift so hopefully the journey continues and we'll start to see more and more uh, Lego sets are starting to sell and uh, yeah that's uh, always a positive right for those of you who've been wondering about my giveaways, I did announce that I was going to do a big giveaway when we get to 5,000 subscribers. Now that's likely going to take a while. And I just want to give you guys a heads up um, that I will be doing probably quite a big giveaway competition uh, on Christmas Eve. So that's December 24th on the Saturday. Uh, it will be throughout the day and the afternoon at some point, UK time. So that'll be late or early morning in uh, on the east side of the of the the con of the um, the globe so australia and uh, far east asia but morning time kind of like the us side so but yeah we will be doing it uh, early afternoon i would imagine uh, i haven't decided what to give away yet uh, basically you've got the whole month of uh, december to contemplate what to buy see what deals there are out there i didn't buy anything really from uh, a black friday perspective to give away yet but we'll be using some of the funds that we've been building up already for, for the past few months so that should be good and uh, if you've been watching uh, my son's channel you will have seen how we've been doing giveaways there and um, we are going to follow it on a similar process where people will have to be online uh, to win the prizes it's not going to be like before where you have to sign up beforehand and things like that it's going to be live whoever's in the stream will have a chance to win if you're not there you won't have a chance to win um, but yeah it's a uh, Christmas Eve and I haven't decided time yet I will create the you know the link to it at least about a week in advance to give people enough notice of when it's going to be and I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that there will be quite a big giveaway uh, on the 24th so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that one now we're almost at um, the end of the month which means a new month is back upon us and that means that we're going to be doing Lots of uh, data analysis again. Uh, for anyone who's interested in our premium patron data, we do have some spaces available now in uh, most of the countries. So uh, go check that out if you're interested. And uh, yeah, keeping it briefly and uh, short as usual. Hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.